guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another podcast. Uh, today's podcast is probably going to be quite short because I don't really have that much to talk about. <laughs> um, so you can find me on Facebook that I don't really use that much. You can find me on Instagram as Denise Deer and Handmade by Deer Designs. Um, I'm more active on there than anywhere else. Um, I say active, I go on there more than anything else um, and I've also started a TikTok with my um, weight loss journey and just random stuff basically. Um, the last couple of weeks I haven't really been on social media that much. Um, I've done a few TikToks and things like that but I mean like on Instagram and that just because things are then things happened in the background um, and I just w really wasn't in the mood so yeah anyway uh, today I have one finished object that you haven't even seen yet I have my socks my wrap and a potential start uh, so let me start with my finished object so uh, in my last vl vlog so last week's vlog I sorted out all my yarn, um, I got the boxes down and I thought right I want to sort out what I've got, I want to know what I've got so I can sort of think about my next project as I haven't really got anything in mind or whatever uh, so I thought that I would maybe start something with the yarn that I've got. I haven't done that yet, well I did but regretted it the moment that I cast on. <laughs> Uh, so anyway let me show you what the finished project is so this is not a pattern it is something that I had just put on the needles and knitted it was an idea that I got just because of the yarn basically so here is my finished object so this is a cowl um, and I literally cast on a um, hundred stitches and I have knitted this um, cast on a hundred stitches and I did it in the round just knit 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 all the way um, and I was going to use the whole of the yarn which I didn't let me explain so I cast on the yarn is like this and it is the poodle yarn that I got from pound stretcher when pound stretcher was closing down near my sister so in Romford um, there was a pound stretcher and um, it was closing down they had like a percentage off sale I can't even remember what it was now this ball was originally 2 99 and I think it worked out at less than £1.50 I can't I honestly can't remember uh, but this is the yarn this is what the ball band looks like it's 200 gram um, I don't think there's any other details on it really it doesn't say the yardage or anything like that um, it's made in Turkey that's basically it so it was so squidgy in the ball it was like touching a cloud <laughs> which it still does feel like it, I'm touching a cloud uh, so yeah I cast on and as you can see the bottom is a bit rolly uh, and I was about here and I was like this yarn is such a pig to work with um, it was awful to work with to be honest and I regretted every moment of knitting it but I don't regret the finished item uh, so yeah, it was just, oh, it was so hard to knit and I did think at first, oh, maybe I should crochet it, but then I was thinking that's going to be even harder because I'm not even going to be able to see my stitches. Um, so anyway, yeah, I cast on, I knit however many rows, I don't know, and then I did a 2 by 2 rib at the top because I didn't want the top and bottom to roll over I wanted at least one straight edge uh, and my plan is to wear this um, straight edge it's not stretchy um, because it was so hard to cast off the rest of it is stretchy and I thought the bottom being stretchy would be better so my idea to wear it is like this um, and it doesn't matter if the bottom curls up then because it will just be a comfy cowl um, also I can wear it sort of like this and it's still long enough at the back to um, as you can see it's quite 
deep it's long enough to wear it like this um, as a snud type thing so if it's really really cold then I can just sort of huddle up in this and it will be fine I can also just wear it like this um, there's multiple options obviously um, it doesn't quite go over my shoulders um, but it wasn't planned for that anyway so yeah that is how I would wear it um, like I said I, I didn't follow up pattern I was just like yeah I'm gonna do that and that's it and I'm gonna knit until I get to the end of the ball but it was such a pig to work with that I didn't get to the end of the ball um, I was also thinking of knitting the 2x2 two two rib half the size again of this so like knitting to the end of the ball basically and I think that would have taken me another good couple of inches um, to then maybe fold it down so it would be like that but all this top bit would be uh, ribbon I didn't get that far <laughs> but I am really happy with the final um, result it is molting and the fibres are going everywhere um, I had black leggings on yesterday and I've got black joggers on today and yeah the fibres are going everywhere uh, but that is my first finish and I am pleased with the final project I started this on Saturday night or Saturday late afternoon and I finished it yesterday which was Sunday so uh, I didn't say but today is the 24th of May it's Monday <laughs> um, I am happy with it so yeah that's all that matters really um, I'm just glad that it's done <laughs> so we're going to put that aside um, my next uh, well my my next things are whips um, I have the Matoana Matoana wrap it's this wrap uh, let me see the front page for you uh, have I got the front page? I'm not sure I have but the front page is just this <laughs> uh, but that is another picture of it um, and then there's other pictures but it's, it's basically just a, a simple re repeat of the um, pattern that I'm going to show you now so I the last time you see this um, I picked up well should I say the the where I was the the this time I picked this up if that makes any sense at all uh, was at this color change here so I was about to just knit on the purple so here is the pattern repeats um, you'll probably see it better in a different color so that is what it's like and this yarn is from Pink Heart Yarns and this was my 12 days of Christmas calendar. I have added an extra colour uh, but I might not add the last colour which is the bright orange uh, because it doesn't really go with anything that is here. Um, so I added this nice pink colour so the red was in the 12 days of Christmas and then it went like there was nothing that really went with the red so I decided to add this pink and then go into the rest of the colours this is a bright pink which is gorgeous and then I tried to pick up so like in this colour there is this pink and bits of this pink so what I've also tried to do is do a plain colour so a variegated colour plain variegated plain variegated plain variegated uh, plain purple and then variegated which is the blue that I'm knitting at the moment and it is very 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 long <laughs> and I said to Ian yesterday it's gonna be like a Doctor Who scarf so this is it halved um, and yeah it's gonna be like a Doctor Who scarf it's supposed to be a wrap um, obviously it will block out quite wide once I've done it so I can wear it as a wrap um, and I will definitely block this out just because it curls up so much that it doesn't really look like anything so I will block it 
and I'm really enjoying knitting on it this time. Uh, I just want it finished. <laughs> um, I started this before Christmas, I think, or was it just after Christmas? Maybe just after, um, because yeah, I see the pattern and I was like, that is lovely. And um, I don't think the pattern is actually this long. Like how many repeats you do for the pattern isn't this long, but I'm carrying on to um, use up all the yarn basically. So yeah, I was here when you um, when I picked it up this time. Now I'm going into this color and the next colors are um, these two, which don't really go again, but um, we're going into greens. So this will be the next color as it's a plain green. And then we go into this variegated green with blues. Um, and then I have a lighter colour that is very similar to this. It's very, um, it's very slightly lighter. Um, and then I've got a bright orange. So I'm not really sure on how I'm going to go with them second, no, them last two colours. Um, but these are what are going to be next. I've decided on that because I was I'm in an R in too much. I was like, I just need to pick. <laughs> uh, so that is that basically really enjoying it it's going to be um something that's going to be nice for either the summer like in the evenings um that i can wrap around me because it does sort of i think it will block out really wide so i can just have it over my shoulders and i find that it's not really my shoulders that get cold it's my arms and i have found that with knitting all the or, or crocheting all the shawls that i have in my wardrobe that it's not actually my shoulders or my neck that gets cold even if I'm sat here it's my arms um, and normally I put a cardigan on which I think is in the bedroom is my pink cardigan I love that because I can just put it on it covers my arms and I can still knit and whatever um, so yeah it's gonna be nice to put on and then in the um, winter I can wear it as a cowl um, so yeah I'm really happy with it <laughs> um, we'll just have to wait and see and hopefully it will be be finished very soon that's that the next thing are my socks which are up here um, I don't think there is any progress on these from the last time you see them to be honest I don't think I've knitted on them this week so this is the second sock because the first sock is toe down so this is how much I've got I'm just knitting the leg at the moment here is the heel uh, toe up even <laughs> um, and I'm just trying to get as much of the yarn in here as possible and then I can finish knitting or finish dropping my stitches no I don't want to do that so where's that one come from I don't know but let's just put that back on there a second. Oh no, I think I'm dropping stitches from the other side. Oh. What am I like? What am I like? Right, oh, I can deal with that in a second. Uh, so yeah, this is the second sock because I want to use up as much yarn so I know how much I need for the leg basically and then the cuff but obviously I know how much for the cuff already so that's that it's um yarn that is from Hobbycraft it is two of a kind I'm not really doing two of a kind I'm doing a topsy-turvy two of a kind um and uh my sister got me this for my birthday last year um and it's really really lovely yarn um I think it's going to peel quite a lot uh, I think maybe it would have been better off on 2.25 needles. I knit my socks on a 2.5 circular needle um, and I do magic loop. That's just how I prefer to do my socks. Um, and I think because the material, like as you can see, it's, it goes quite see through -y. You can probably near enough see my face through it. Uh, so, yeah. But it does say on the actual 
tagged to, to use 2.5s. Um, and I think, I don't know, but I think my tension has loosened up a little bit because the Cadbury's Cream Egg socks that I finished, I put them on and they were massive. So I don't really know. I'll have to wait and see. And if that is the case, then I'll just have to get some 2.25 needles um, and see what happens. But yeah, they are my socks that, that I need to now <sighs> untangle. Um, oh, there we go. And sort out the stitches. That is all my whips. Um, I haven't touched my flamingo jumper this week. Um, like I said, it is my editing jumper. And also I have got the needles on this because I only have one four mil set of needles. Um, I have ordered another set, which is the Knit Pro. Um, they're the plastic ones. Um, they have come, they're in my little case here. So I store my circular needles or my interchangeable needles in this little case here it was a knit pro case um i don't know whether it's a genuine knit pro case but it did say that it was um and here is how i store all of my needles these are the new four meals that i've got um they are orange this time so the 3.5 are red and then the four mil are orange. Um, it's the only ones that I could get at the time, the next day on Amazon. The other ones were saying like middle of this week, um, which I probably could have done, but I wanted them straight away. Um, and to be honest, I've got the 3.5 mils and I don't have any problems with them. I know they're plastic, um, but I don't have any problems with these. So, I thought I'd give them a try. Now in here I do have um, I do have the plastic ones. Whoops. I have a set of metal ones, which are the Novas, I believe. I can't remember what these are called. And then I've got the um, Symphonies, which are here. So um, yeah. And then I've got one lonely little pair here, which are my 4.5 needles, which are short. And I just cannot get on with them. Um, so yeah, they're shorter than the rest. And I just can't... I don't know, they feel really weird in my hand. Obviously I won't get rid of them or anything. And then this side, there's like in the middle, there's a little see-through pocket here. Where you can put all of your... I don't want to knock anything out. You, all your cables and your stoppers. And I've just got a um, needle gauge there. Because... Some of these, the numbers have rubbed off. So I thought, well, if I keep that in there, then it's always there then. And then I've just got like spare bits and pieces that need to go in that. And this was from Amazon. I got this with my Christmas money. It wasn't expensive at all. Um, I ordered it with some cables, I think. Um, and it really wasn't that expensive. And I just thought it would be so nice to have everything in a nice case. It, I did have the case that came with the starter kit my sister bought me um, and it was getting a little bit sort of overwhelmed because I was I got quite a lot of um, sizes and I was having I got quite a few cable lengths now and I just wanted something a little bit more nicer if that makes sense instead of a clear plastic pocket with a popper on it um, so yeah that is that. It's really nice. Um, I think they've got it in blue as well. They also do it with um, different insides so you can store your fixed circulars as well. Um, and I think they do one that you can put your um, crochet hooks in as well. I'm, I can't remember but this one was from Amazon. That's that. Then um, I'm going to get rid of this now because I am not even dealing with that anymore I know yes you can all shout at me no don't throw it away I'm going to throw it away <laughs> I can't even have it I can't even think about it <laughs> uh, so anyway the next thing that I wanted to show you was this box of lovely yarn that I got for uh, Christmas from Ian this is the noodle soup yarn and this was the box that she did it was like with the 40 um, mini 
balls, gobstopper balls, um, and they're all different colours. I have caked up the main yarn, so it came with this as well. I caked up this main yarn, it's like a bluey greeny, no, bluey grey colour, <laughs> uh, like a denim basically, it's really really nice, um, and this is going to be another cow, a little bit like the litmus cow. So let me just quickly um, show you what I am thinking of. Um, it is a pattern on Ravelry, so if you do have trouble with Ravelry, I apologise. It is a paid for pattern, but I'm not going to pay for the pattern. I know that's probably really cheeky, uh, but it is such a simple pattern to look at and I can do it myself. Um, it's called the Paint, paint Pan Cow, and I know, um, I can't remember her name. 72 stitches on Instagram. Is her name Stacy? I can't remember now. Um, she's knitted this and this is, I think she's knitting a second one. So this is what it looks like. And I'm going to just use the numbers for the litmus cow and basically work out how many I need, how many numbers I need for how many pattern repeats that I want to do and blah blah blah. Um, so it is only £1.47 so don't get me wrong it's not an expensive pattern um, and I want to do it the way I want to do it. So um, yeah that is what I am going to be doing with this yarn and it was something in mind. Um, I was just wondering if there's any other pictures oh this one is beautiful like with the light grey um yeah that is so pretty but yeah so that is my plan for that yarn and I'm going just to knit as much of them gobstopper gob balls into it as I can um I think I'll probably run out of the grey no, I'll probably run out of the gobstopper yarns before I run out of the grey yarn because, yeah, that's what I, that's what I think. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but there's some beautiful colours in there. And what I'm thinking of doing is I've got a little jar up there, a little glass jar that I'm going to put the gobstoppers in. So every time that I need a new colour, I'm just going to rummage and pick one out. I'm not going to do it in any specific way. That is how I'm going to do it. So, have I got anything else to say? El uh, anything else to say? Not really. Uh, I just want to also th say a big, massive, massive, massive thank you to everyone that has placed an order on my store, on my Etsy shop. Um, it means the world to me. And I just want to thank you personally on here. So thank you. Um, obviously, I've thanked everyone for their orders anyway. But... Um, yeah, I've got a few going out today. That now the sun is coming out, I can probably get over there and get over the post office. Uh, but yeah, I just I just want to say thank you because it just gives me so much joy that I can produce something that you want to knit with, um, and even the stitch markers or crochet with or however you use my yarn. Um, I just want to say thank you. So. Um, I don't know whether there will be a shop update this week um, as I have not dyed any yarn this week yet. I know it's only Monday uh, but there might be a shop update next week um, and we'll just sort of go from there. Uh, I'm still um, in minds of doing a monthly subscription box of a mini skein. Um, I'm just trying to get prices and... Um, costings and things like that at the moment uh it probably won't happen for um another couple of months but yeah that is in my mind at the moment so we'll just have to wait and see so thank you so much for watching and sitting here listening to me ramble <laughs> uh, and i hope you're all well and all safe um i know restrictions are easing in the uk um we can go inside restaurant and have dinner not that me and ian have done that yet um but yeah, restrictions are easing. Um, we have our second vaccine the end of next week, I think. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, we will be fine. Um, I was fine with my first one. Ian was, was not, so hopefully it don't go the other way this time. Um, but yeah, so 
anyway thank you so much for watching keep safe keep well and i shall see you all very soon bye